All right, here we are. Jamie with you in the Fox 35 Weather Center. This is your Fox 35 AM weather app update. Let's waste no time and get right on down into the temperatures as we saunter on into the numbers for you. It's 50s and 60s currently. It's uh, been one of those mornings where we've had a lot of cloud cover, some misty weather early, a few raindrops out there. Not a real rain chance today, but those clouds were low, and that did produce, again, some water droplets on windshields and all over the place, man. It's looking up the roads this morning, 62 at Gainesville and 64 out at Lakeland. Day ahead offers up again increasing odds of sunshine, and it looks as though by 3 o'clock we're pretty much there. Mostly sunny. It looks like temps peg out somewhere in the mid 70s today. So our model forecast shows us a couple different things, one of which is the cloud deck on top of the region. But as we throw this modeling in the motion for you, you could see that cloud cover whittles away. There may be another round of some low clouds tomorrow, some low stratus, and a little bit of uh, misting going on tomorrow morning. Outside of that, uh, looks like a decent run of weather as we go through the rest of this work week. Uh, here's temperatures for you, Curly, as I bring this to you at two minutes after 10 on this Monday, Monday, post Super Bowl Monday. And we've got seven below at Bismarck and Great Falls up there in Montana at 14 below, 26 in Seattle. And it looks as though the eastern third of the nation really warming up, in particular, Chicago out to Minneapolis to the upper Midwest. Uh, good grief, was it cold there last week? Better now, 49 Chicago. And that's like they're going to be out sun tanning today. All right, here's a look at the next seven for you 80 for you Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Low 80s, mid 70s uh, set up by Saturday and Sunday. Breezy and only slim, slight rain chances there at 20%. That's your forecast. Join us tonight, Fox 35 News at 5 o'clock. Glenn Richards is back from his restful weekend. I hope he got some rest. And of course, he'll have more on the forecast here live on television on Fox 35 News at 5. And of course, on the weather app, the PM update with Glenn tonight at 5. See you then.